Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. I know, look, I'm filming my intro in my craft room with my beautiful new chair that I am in love with. Yes, I picked chair number one minus the ottoman because it was just gonna take up too much space here in my room. But I am so happy with this chair. I really wanted to go with a chair that was big enough to sit or fit two people in it, but I didn't wanna go with the size of a love seat because it was gonna be just too big. And so this giant chair was perfect for it. The color was absolutely perfect. I didn't wanna go with anything too dark because I didn't want it to get lost with the wall and blend into the wall. I wanted it to contrast, stand out, but I wanted it to go nicely. And I think that this chair does just that with the wall. I am so happy with the outcome of this room. You'll have to stay tuned for my upcoming craft room tour. It's gonna to be coming here in the next week and a half. I'm in the process of doing it now, but it is complete and I am so stinking excited. What do I have going on for you for today? Today I'm bringing to you a Cricut how-to video. As I know, not everybody has a Cricut. I am very mindful of that fact. I also do know that there are so many of you that do have a Cricut and you're just not using it. It either hasn't been taken out of the box or you're telling me that it's been on a shelf and you've never touched it because you're too intimidated to use it because you just don't understand Cricut design space. And I just am cringing because I'm thinking, oh my goodness, it is so easy to work through. Your Cricut is an amazing craft tool to use. And I have got to show you how to use Cricut Design Space for those of you who have a Cricut and aren't using it. Because once you see how easy it is to use and all the things that you can do with your Cricut, you are going to love your Cricut as much as I love mine. And so today I'm going to be showing you how to use the slice tool in Cricut Design Space. Now, what is the slice tool for? The slice tool is for detaching something that is grouped together that comes as a bundle. Say you have a pack of embellishments like this one here. This is one from Linda's Etsy store. This is just an example. We have had people who have purchased these asking us, what if I only wanna use one of these embellishments and I don't wanna print them all out? How do I do that? I'm gonna show you how to do that today. And not only is it good for these embellishments, but it is good for any design that you find here in Cricut Design Space if you belong to Cricut Access. And so it is a great tool to use, it's easy to do, and I'm gonna show you how you can take just one of these embellishments off of this pack, detach it, and just print the one if that's what you wanna do. Super quick and easy, but it's a great, great tool in Cricut that you should know how to use because it is something that I, I find that I utilize quite often. So I'm gonna quit my gabin, let's jump into it, and let me show you just how easily it is to slice and cut an embellishment that is grouped together so you can just print one instead of all of them. It's pretty easy, let's get to it. Alrighty, so getting started, we are in Cricut Design Space here with a blank canvas, and right along the side here, you're gonna see Upload. This is where I'm gonna go to grab the embellishment pack that I'm gonna use, and this is a spring one from Linda. When you click on it, you're gonna see that it appears here at the bottom. Go ahead and insert it into your canvas. Once you insert it, it is going to be giant size, here at the top, you can go ahead and type in whatever measurements you want it to be. I put in 7.0, which is just seven inches. You can also use this double arrow here at the bottom to size your image to whatever size you want. But if you're looking for a specific size, I definitely just type that size in at the top. Along the sidebar, again, you're gonna see an area here that says shapes. Go ahead and click on shapes and you're gonna grab the square or the circle you're gonna unlock it because that's gonna allow you to size your square to either a rectangle of any size once you size it you're gonna go ahead and place it over the image that you want to detach from the bundle and once you've got it over your image you're gonna go ahead and highlight the entire embellishment pack 
once you've highlighted it, which is now grouping it together, because we need to group that square in with it, you're gonna go ahead down to here to the bottom and you're gonna click slice. When you slice it, you're gonna see that it slices around the image that you just covered, kind of imprinting it into the square. Once you head on back over to your pack, you can now remove the embellishment pack from the image that you just sliced away by removing the pieces of the square that you can just go ahead and discard. And you can do that with all of the embellishments on this page if you wanted to. You can do it using the circle. So with the circle, I'm gonna go ahead and size it down to the size of the chick. Now don't worry too much if you get it on any of the other embellishments because you've got the PNG download of this so you can just bring a new embellishment pack onto your canvas if you need to. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight it. I'm gonna click slice and you're gonna see the cutout of the chick. I'm gonna go ahead and discard the circle pieces. And once I click on it, I'm able to move the rest of the embellishment pack. And you'll see here that I have this extra part of the embellishment from spring. And so I'm gonna remove that the same way that I detached it, just by taking another shape and sizing it down and putting it over the piece that you want to remove, highlighting it, slicing it, then again, you'll see that the piece is there and we're just gonna discard the circle pieces. And we're gonna discard, once we move the baby chick out of the way, the top of the S. One of the benefits you get with slicing an image and detaching it from say a bundle like this embellishment pack is that you have the capability of making it a larger size. So in Cricut Design Space, the largest size that you can make an image for print and cut is 6.75 by 9.25 inches. That is a nice size image. And how cute would it be to take an image from one of these embellishment packs and make it a larger size and frame it in a white frame or a pink frame and put it on the wall in a nursery or decorate a child's room with some of these adorable images and you've done it using digital image that you've downloaded and it is one of the benefits of Cricut and Cricut Design Space. I mean really look at how stinking cute this spring truck is. I can make it as large as I want and you better believe that now that it's detached I'm gonna print this out on tissue paper and I'm gonna add it to a canvas board and it's gonna be a piece that is added to my Easter decor this year. And again, you don't have to worry about how much you've chopped up that image because all you have to do is go back to your uploaded images in Cricut Design Space and reinsert it into your canvas and there you have your bundle in its entirety again and you can cut out more of the images or you can cut out the whole embellishment pack again. There are endless possibilities when working with Cricut Design Space. So here we've got the three images. I'm gonna go ahead and click make it and it has inserted it into the print and cut mat here and it is ready to be print and cut. I told you it is so easy to do. Cricut Design Space is a great space to create using your Cricut and it really isn't hard to do. I think that if I just bring you one of these how-to videos every now and again, you all are gonna see just how easy it is and I think that the intimidation of using your Cricut and using Cricut Design Space is going to diminish because you're gonna see just how easy it is. You really don't have to be all that computer I guess savvy to do it and so if you just follow along with my step-by-step -step instructions you'll be able to do it and before you know it you're going to be doing it on your own and you're going to be a pro at it. I hope you all enjoyed today's Cricut how-to video on how to utilize that slicing tool in Cricut Design Space and what you can do with it and how to use it. It's awesome. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to you guessed it 5,000 likes because like I always say each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please, and bye for now, everybody.